Three, two, one. What did you see from the works today from Matterhorn and Commissioner? I thought they worked very well. Um, it was a good, well-executed breeze that uh, both horses seemed very comfortable, relaxed, galloped out well. Um, it was it was good. Did you see what you needed from Matterhorn to make a decision on the Belmont? I thought he breezed well enough to continue to consider it. We'll see how he comes out of it and uh, get with Aaron Wellman tomorrow and we'll make a final decision. But I, I did like the breeze. What about Princess of Silmar and her breeze? Uh, it was uh, very good. She uh, seems to be in great form, very relaxed and happy and moving well. And excited about the race. Are you excited to get the chance to face Beholder again? Uh, I don't know if excited is the right word. Um, I have a lot of respect for how good Beholder is and how good Close Hatches is. Um, so I'm excited about the race. I'm very pleased with the way our filly's doing. And uh, at the same time, it's a, it's a difficult task. What are the things that you look for going back to the Belmont Stakes and horses that are working for the mile and a half in their last work? Well, I think it depends sort of, you know, where those horses are coming from, when they started last, what they, you know, their normal training schedule is. And so uh, try not to overthink it. You know, in, in the case of Commissioner Matterhorn, they're both horses that just ran a mile and an eighth over the track here. I think they're both horses that have a lot of natural stamina. And uh, so our main focus is just trying to keep them happy and, you know, make sure that we do enough with them without overdoing it. Was it more? Was there more important, more focus on, say, Matterhorn today than Commissioner? Because I, know, I always thought you thought Commissioner was a horse that this race might fit. Well, I've, I've actually always felt like both horses would be suited to the mile and a half uh, distance, and uh, you know, it's kind of a no-brainer with Commissioner being a son of AP Indy out of a Touch Gold mare. So two horses that have won the Belmont themselves, and. Uh, his style has been such that we've just always felt like the longer the better. Uh, with Matterhorn, he's a big scopey horse that, that uh, just kind of keeps going and going and going. So we've, we've kind of felt the same way about him for a while as well. Um, is it a little strange to be kind of so far under the radar for uh, a triple crown race? Usually you're the you know, focal point here and these two are kind of... Uh, no, I think it's it's fine. It's fine. Um, I mean, I... I, I I'm excited about the Belmont. I think it's a great race, and uh, you know, and if you've got California Chrome, who appears to be doing super, um, and then you've got some some horses that, if you were California Chrome, you'd be kind of worried about. So it uh, you know it's shaping up as a as a great race, and uh, we're happy to be a part of it, and don't mind being under the radar. You get a call a little bit of an audible with Palace Mouse workout. How did that all? Trend, you know, how that all go uh, I mean, it's it's one of the benefits of having radio on your riders because uh, you know if if, uh, if that work gets underway, then you know there's no way to undo it. And fortunately, we were able to stop it before it really got started and start over and let the loose horse get off the racetrack. And I think had we not had the radios on, then at least the gallop out was going to be compromised. And what did you think of how he went? Typical impressive breeze from him. I mean, the horse is doing unbelievable. Have you changed the philosophy at all with him? You used to like working two. Last year at three, he was working, I think, by himself. And now the last couple. He's done years. a little bit of everything. I just, you know, he seems to do fine in company. So it just it seems a little more reliable when you go in company. Who did he go with today? Uh, he went with uh, Celebrator. Um, you put unlimited budget on the turf today. What did you see from her? Did oh, she handled it well. Yeah, she went. Uh, 47 and 4, and seemed to be excited to be out there and got over it pretty well. Worked in company with a great one winner and held their own. Will you go in just the game? Yes. And will Boisterous go in the Manhattan? Yes.